welcome back and today i am going to talk about aws devops professional certification which i appeared recently and i am happy to share that i have successfully passed so in this video i am going to cover what resources i have used and how anyone can prepare for this exam before that please subscribe to my channel there are a lot of videos around the different certification exam which i have appeared till date so i hope that will be helpful for you all to prepare so let's come to the topic of the exam i have few tips which i will share at the end so the, let me start with the topics which are easy and i see anyone can comfortable who are using aws or working on aws platform from from at least few years if i say few years it means three to two minimum is kind of a years of experience if you have then this topic will be much much easy the first is disaster recovery so disaster recovery is not only specific to devops but in this exam it is getting tested from the devops angle and the questions include that how you can automate the disaster part or the or the uh, utilizing the cloud formation how you can quickly recover the data on the different region here the catch is that you need to know which services are having a global level scope which services are having a regional level scope and which services are having availability zone level scope so if you are able to know and if you understand about what are the features and caveat from a different angle like how the database engine are working maybe some database engine are having the multi write kind of feature some database is working in a multi uh, like master slave and then read replica and the cross region replicas are there but application maybe can simultaneously work in a multi region if the state is not a concern so understand from that perspective and then i believe this area will be much much easy because i see the handful of question around this area that's why i started from the easy topic the second uh, second topic is cloud formation that is also i found not to advance is getting tested but if you play if you know the basics cloud formation is a easy peasy thing and then the another area is elastic beanstalk that is i can say the most easiest topic i have worked heavily on that that's why maybe i feel pretty much comfortable but depend upon your use case so if you think you have not spent time on elastic beanstalk it may be tough but as i say it is the easy very straightforward things because you need to know the concept especially how you are going to uh, apply the update call rolling updates whether what feature you need to take all at once immutable all those kind of things will be there and the from these feature of elastic beanstalk how it is going to impact maybe the time up time or the cost so know about all this area and that area will for sure easy to crack and then the another area is uh, ecs which is the container service i don't find too much of question whatever the questions was there it was very straightforward so play around the area in your console ecs and then one unique thing i found there is a single question mention about eks so i suggest create your own eks cluster in your account and play for sure if you find this question in your exam you will be able to crack it easily so now coming to the topic which i see which is necessarily not only for exam but i think of while preparing for this this exam i got lot of ideas while exploring about those services so the first one is cloud watch so cloud watch is not only the single but it consists of this monitoring part it's log a uh, log uh, cloud watch logs and as well as cloud watch events which is known as amazon event bridge so you need to know you need to well verse with around all these area it is really really necessarily that you aware the feature the services in which scenario which will fit and how maybe all three can work together how it will glue with the other services what kind of automation feature you can leverage from cloudwatch event so highly recommend you put efforts on that area and that will be what i can say your uh, long term journey to adapt aws devops strategy so uh, study around this area lambda will also be mixed in this area because lambda is not tested as a individual service but if how it is getting triggered getting the automation so know about the uh, the area very well and then the another big area is around code hyphen services which is the code commit build deploy pipeline know about all these services very well 
if you are not coming from a development background again i say put more time put more effort try to understand how the entire ci cd pipeline will work whether the manual deployment or the automated deployment what are the differences how it can be automated in the code pipeline how the deployment can happen or the actions are happen in parallel or sequential what are the caveats so try to learn try to explore from the build and code spec side you need to know what is there uh, files are required especially in build it's a build spec.yaml you need to know how it is getting written what kind of steps are there in same case of code deploy code deploy there are some steps need to be written in yaml format know about all these it will help you to understand the question easily and then the chances are you will choose the right solution approach and the another topic which i can say not big but a confusing one around aws config so know about how aws config work and in which scenario it will uh, getting used and how it will be in, uh, attached or you can say how underneath it is utilizing aws lambda to make the solution auto remediate this is this is a good questions a good learning so try to play around this service after that system manager easy if you really work not easy if you never played so try to explore in the account there are many feature inside the aws system manager try to explore each and everything especially the parameter store where it will fit run command you need to know and how you can onboard the on-premises instance try to learn from those areas and then it will be much much easy now coming to the topics which are just like i see a one or two kind of a question but again as we all are targeting to pass the exam having the maximum score so you need to aware about and prepare around that area first let me start with the aws organization when we talk about a multi account aws structure that is where the aws organization fit know about scp service control policy how it is getting inherited to the child account from the organization or parent account no read about that area after that elastic search not a big topic but somehow you will see in some option it depend a person to person which kind of solution approach you want to take so read about that that how it is getting logs in near real time or it is getting attached with the cloudwatch log groups cloudwatch uh, like how it is cloudwatch log group is going to put the logs inside the uh, elastic search and then <clears throat> a small topic i would like to say around security part of overall you need to know about kms that where the kms will fit and how it is going to improve the things after that uh, there is nothing that i can say left it for the exam if you if you are pretty much aware about this topic for sure you will be much much comfortable to crack the exam so now let me share the resources which i have used and uh, i highly recommend you follow this is a course i followed there is a no point to follow the 10 different courses from 10 different places follow it once maybe if you think uh, first time you are not able to understand watch it again try to follow the demo i will drop my affiliate link in the description please click on and purchase the course and watch it and once you finish the course follow the demo if you want a more practice i highly recommend to use aws workshop it's a gold mine you just go search something around devops you will find around ci cd there are multiple workshops are uh, available but you need to use your own account so follow the steps given a lot of cloud formation or uh, templates will be there to build your environment but follow it try to practice it and your learning curve will be much 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 easier now let me share some tips i highly recommend you take exam from center this is the first time i took any aws exam which is three hour long from home and it was a very uncomfortable moment because one i appeared in early morning second you will not get a physical pen and paper but if you appear in the exam center you will get a pen and paper so try if in your geography if it is available go and sit in uh, uh, sit in the center why i am saying this because there is lot of reading required lot of as it's a pro level exam a uh, questions are very lengthy as well as the options are so sometime you need a pen paper to design quickly some kind of a architecture there it will for sure help 
and the another tip i would like to say that most of the questions i see uh, if it is only the single uh, single answer question two options straight away you can eliminate if you really know about the logic and the concept and then you will get with the two options so the chances will be 50 percent you are going to select the right one and then what i did is i tried to compare word by word each and every option and then i found that um, in those option two three words will change the entire solution approach and then i apply my logic whatever my i have the understanding around that topic to to figure out the best and the really it work out very well for me so try to know try to read word by word and then then try to figure out where the words are getting changed and how it is changing the entire solution approach it may happen that you will be able to find the right one easily and last one is time management i was losing a time because of reading and um, i was not able to review it properly i have consumed entire 180 minute in the exam so i suggest that have your mind ready to read a lot sometime you will see it's a very big reading like five to six sentences but it's a very straightforward right approach so try to try to ready to read quickly and then try to run your mind that what solution approach will fit best so that's all about this exam and uh, i wish all the best to everyone if you have any question any any feedback please drop in the comment and subscribe to my channel share in your circle and take care